Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Kingdom Scribes. This used to be called Marketing Monday, but we have rebranded it to Kingdom Scribes. And from time to time, I will be sharing tips on marketing and selling, writing and publishing your book. And also we'll have a few special guests as you are coming on in. Can you say hello? Can you say good afternoon? Let us know where you are tuning in from. And if you are watching the replay, I want you to go Go ahead and put hashtag replay, put hashtag replay in the comments. I would love to know who you are. We are going to get started in just a minute. We're going to be talking about how to finance your book publishing, writing and publishing projects. So I'm excited for this topic. I'm going to wait for a few more of you guys to come on in and then we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. Hey, Cheryl, how are you guys doing? Hey, Erlene. Hey, Erlene. Look, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. I do have quite a few points and y'all, I only got 20 minutes to get through them. That's the purpose of this. I want these to be short and sweet and to the point. Again, as you are coming on in, if you can say hello, good afternoon, happy Friday. We'll be doing these just about every single uh, Friday unless I'm traveling but I'm excited to uh, start back communicating with you guys. How many of you guys used to be a part of Marketing Monday? I needed to move it to Friday because my schedule changed, but I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and jump right on in. I feel like we have quite a few of you on here. And again, if you are just now joining us, this is the Kingdom Scribes uh, podcast. And we're going to talk about how to finance your book writing and publishing projects. Okay, so I do have 13 points and you are going to want to take notes. Okay. So I want to get through all of them. Now, if you have any questions, I'll try to get through them pretty quickly. And then um, I will open it up for Q and A at the end. So let me get to my, let me get to my notes. How y'all doing though? What y'all got planned for the weekend? Look, I'm, I'm over here stalling, trying to find my, find my notes that I have written everything down. Here we go. There we go. I found it. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. We're talking about how to fund writing and book publishing projects. Okay, so here's number one. The first tip, know the costs before you judge, okay? Now that seems like such an elementary um, tip number one, but oftentimes we will go ahead and discount ourselves or disqualify ourselves from being, from being able to afford something because we have not fully inquired about the price. How many times have you said, oh, that just looks expensive or I don't know if I really can afford that. Um, many people uh, uh, decide what they can and cannot do before even looking at the price and even sitting down and coming up with a plan on how you can pay for it. Now, you know, if your money has a place to go, it will grow. So if you research, find out what it costs to write and publish, like the full, the full package, whatever it is that you are looking for, whatever you want your package to include, go ahead, do the research. Don't be scared. Write the number down. Now you can, um, now you can decide how uh, and what resources you're going to pull to pay for that. All right. So that was tip number one. Know the cost before you judge. Tip number two, you have to realize that writing and publishing is an investment in you and your brand. OK, realize that writing and publishing is an investment in you and your brand. And I feel like sometimes this is often forgotten. So this is what you're going to have to do. You need to set a goal for what types of opportunities uh, that you want your book to open up for you and how much money you want to make from it. Like what's going to be your return on the investment? So, for example, let's say if you get a publishing package and it costs ten thousand dollars, it has the bells and whistles. It has audio book, ebook, everything that you want. Right. But you know that with this book, it's going to open you up to speaking engagements. It's going to open you up to um uh, coaching programs, partnerships, joint ventures, and you have the potential in a short period of time or in a year to make 50,000. How many of you would spend 10,000 to make 50,000 and then realize that the 10,000 is just a one-time investment? Then you can make 50,000 and 50,000, 100,000. And in the course of three to five years, you've made over six figures from one $10,000 investment. OK, so you have to realize that writing and publishing is an investment. And so the goal for writing a book, 
should be not only to share your expertise, but to also get paid doing it. And I think sometimes we think we're, we, we, we treat book writing like journaling. We're like, okay, I'm just going to journal. I want to publish my book and it's just going to be for me. And it's like, no, if you're not going to sell your book, if you're not using your book to create opportunities and to um, help other people through the process and to make money, then you might as well just keep that thing in your journal. Okay. You might as well keep that thing in journal. How y'all doing? If you guys are following me, go ahead and put a one in the comments. I want to know if you guys are following me or you can um, uh, just comment along as I share some of the topics. Okay. So we did number one, know the cost before you judge. Number two, realizing that writing and publishing is an investment um, in you and your brand. Number three, compare the investment fees, which how much um, the, Compare the investment fees with how much money you will make and determine if it makes sense for you to move forward with publishing. Now, that goes back to understanding the return on investment. So, again, I kind of just broke that down already. Let's say the investment fee is 10000 but you know you can make 100000 Then make sure that it makes sense. If it's like, OK, you know what? I can invest this 10000 to make 100000 But oftentimes we're not thinking about. Uh, if something makes sense, we're just putting our money into things that don't make sense, that aren't returning, um, that aren't returning um, any kind of money or opportunities back to us. So once you do that, you have to make sure that um, that it makes sense for you. OK, so, for example, if you are a speaker, any speakers, consultants, you have you, you, you are a speaker, you're getting ready to speak. So getting ready to speak or becoming a paid speaker and you not having a book is a no-no. Anyone who is speaking or a, an aspiring speaker, you should at a bare minimum have a book, okay? All right, so we got through those. Though The first three were just mindset things because I feel like a lot of times we don't invest in stuff because our mindset is just all jacked up surrounding money because of trauma and different things that we've gone through. And so we decide that we won't invest in ourselves, but we're, we will invest in things that don't have any kind of return or investment. And writing and publishing a book is a very personal decision because you're putting yourself out there. And many of us aren't really willing to invest in ourselves or we take one bad situation and we decide, nope, I don't want to do it anymore. All right. So let's talk about number four. Number four. Uh, why should you have a book as a speaker? That's a good question. I'll come to that at, at the end. OK, that's a great question. Because you're missing out on money, but I'll tell you why. All right. Number four. Another way that you can finance and fund your publishing product projects is to pull it out your investment fund or 401k. How many of you guys been working You've been working your tail off. You got the 401k or you have some sort of investment fund. Did you know that you can take a loan against your investment fund and get your 401k and invest in yourself? Now, if any of you guys are familiar with how 401ks work, you are basically putting money in with the hopes that whoever, whatever fund that you invested in is going to uh, grow your money. Right. So you would trust somebody that you don't know to manage your wealth. Nothing wrong with that. But you, many of you don't trust yourself to manage your own wealth. And so you can pull some money out of your own 401k to put back into you. Remember, you publishing a book is investing in you and you have control over how much money you make. Okay. And so one way that you can invest is to pull money that you invested in your 401k from your good job and put it back into you and pour it back into you. Because many of you that I've met, you said that you're interested in potentially uh, working for yourself or becoming a paid speaker or launching your business or uh, stepping away from your corporate job and authoring a book and having that as leverage, man, that puts you uh, at a position of, of, of higher success than someone else. All right. So the next one, point number five, okay? Take out a secured loan and pay yourself back over time. So that's almost the same thing, right? So let's say you have saved up, I don't know, $30,000 in the bank and it's sitting in your savings. You know that typically with the credit union, you can go to your credit union and you can take out a secured loan on the money that you already have in your bank account, okay? And then you can pay yourself back over time. We've done this before. 
if you want to finance a project, but you don't want to be out your money at the end, right? So then now you are paying yourself back. Isn't that cool? Any of you guys ever done that? That's an opportunity. If you are looking at like, okay, if I write my book, if I publish my book, this is going to help my, my business. This is going to help my career. This is going to launch my coaching program. Then taking it out uh, a secured loan on the money that you already have is like a great way to do that. Okay, so the next thing is charge it on a credit card, right? Okay, we're on point number six. I'm going to take a second. I'm going to re, 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 uh, give you the other points just for those of you who are just joining us. We are talking about uh, ways that you can finance your book writing and publishing projects because I come across so many people say, what's the finances? I'm getting my finances together. I'm like, look, I can literally tell you how you can pull the money together. So, of course, point number six, you can charge it on a credit card. Now, I want you to think about all the less purposeful things you've charged on your credit card in the past. We have a saying, right? Use other people's money when investing in yourself, especially when you might see a slower return on the investment. What do I mean a slower return on investment? Of course, when you invest in a publishing or a writing uh, package from someone or, or that whole process, right? It is an investment. It's a luxury service. So I'm not even going to sell you like a uh, publishing, uh, going with a professional company to help you write and publish your book is a luxury service, right? But I want you to think about, you know, maybe you may not get a return on your investment in, in 60 days because you're still going to have to write it. You're still going to have to go through publishing. You're still going to have to set up, set up your book and start promoting and marketing your book. So maybe you might see a return on your investment after nine months. So you can put it on your credit card and um, or use other people's money. Right. To finance that. So let's talk about um, uh, another way of financing is applying for financing. How many of you, I was just talking to um, uh, someone on a call. I talked about how we financed our, uh, our, 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 y'all our bed. How many of you have financed furniture or financed a bed? Now the bed is an investment because listen, ain't nothing like some good sleep, but, or you finance anything, right? It's the same thing. Beyond the Book Media, we have a financing company um, that we have partnered with where we offer financing. Um, and so you can stretch out your payments for up to 60 months. And you can pay back on your own terms. OK, so applying for financing. Some people don't they're not thinking like, hmm, let me apply for financing so that I can invest in my book so that I can I can I can apply for financing to get this ten thousand dollar book publishing package. But I can pay it back over the course of uh, three years. But I am going to have so many more opportunities um, because I financed my uh my project my book writing and publishing and of course if you if you are a business owner it is definitely a tax write-off okay so like i said we're using other people's money you do not have to you do not have to use your own heart on cash you can apply for financing of course it's pending your credit approvals all right let me do let me run it back let me run y'all back real quick. Um, number one, know the cost before you judge. Number two, realize that writing and publishing is an investment in you and your brand. Number three, compare the investment fees and how much money you will make and determine if it makes sense for you to move forward with publishing. Number four, pull it from an investment fund or a 401k. Number five, take out a secured loan and pay yourself back over time. Number six, charge it on a credit card. Number seven, apply for financing, okay? All right. So that we went through seven. I still have a few more. So hold tight. Let me know if this is good to you guys. Let me know if you guys are learning anything or or are you reminded of your opportunities that just because you don't have or you, you don't feel comfortable spending the money that you have options and to help you understand why uh, writing a book is actually um, an investment in your future. OK. All right. So the next thing that you can do, listen, you can get an installment plan. Go ahead and break it into uh, installment plans. And you can use uh, programs like Afterplay, Klarna. I'm sure there's a, a plethora of those right now. Now, if you go through us, we do offer in-house installment plans. And we will uh, break it up into either two or four installments, depending upon um, the, the package. So for those of you who are like, you know, I really want to write my book. We have a very affor affordable 21-day brand author academy that helps you finish your book in 21 days. And you can break that up into two uh or for installments, just depending upon what the product is. Okay. Um, all right. 
So of course, of course, Cheryl, you definitely want to talk with all of these things you want to discuss with your financial advisors. So you are, you are definitely right. I'm not telling, I am not a financial advisor. I am just sharing you information on what you can do and what your options are for. Okay. So the next thing that you should do is, um, the next thing you can do, uh, you can put into installment plans. Okay. Here's the next thing you can ask a friend or two. How many of you struggle with asking? How many of you don't have, never ask nobody for nothing? Look, I'm going to raise my hand. But do you know that your friends and family might actually be excited and want to invest and want to sponsor and want to help you write your book? But you never asked them. You tried to be tried to have like a secret victory, like make it a secret. Because, you know, for some reason we have this belief and I believe it's false. I believe it's the enemy that we can't tell nobody nothing because if we tell somebody we doing something, the devil going to snatch it away. First of all, whose authority are you walking in? Are you so afraid of the enemy and you're not going to stand in your authority? We have the ability to trample on snakes and scorpions. So if you want to keep the things that you're doing a secret. If you want to keep the things that you are doing a secret, you go right ahead. But many of you, the reason why you don't, you have not because you ask not and you're afraid of people stealing. First of all, nobody's going to steal your idea. Can't nobody really steal your book idea. I just want to tell you that straight up, because how many people are going to take your book idea and then go actually sit down and write a book and then actually pay to publish? So I just want to go ahead and just uh, pull down all of these myths that we use to not ask for help. So you need to ask someone. You need to ask someone ask for help. So let's say um, your investment in writing and publishing is $6,000, right? So um, with Beyond the Book Media, we have a writing, coaching, and publishing package. It's $5,999. Gets you through coaching and it gets you through publishing, right? So $6,000 is to make it easy, even. You can ask six friends for $1,000, okay? Or you would just ask somebody for the full amount. You never know. You can ask six friends for a thousand dollars. You can ask 10 friends for six hundred dollars. You can ask 60 friends for a hundred dollars and or family members. But many times we are so prideful that we don't ask people, we don't tell people what we're doing. You would be surprised. There might be um, someone that wants to pay for the whole thing. I had a friend of mine who was uh she ended up publishing with us we're in the process of finishing her book right now and when we first had the call she was like okay i'm gonna work on getting the money but she told her friend about the book that she wanted to write and that she was writing and a few weeks later something had happened with her friend and her friend gave her the money that has actually happened quite a few times where people's friends family members parents have just paid for the whole publishing package for them just because they opened their mouth and they asked or they shared. Okay. So you can ask a friend or two. All right. One point number 10, number 10, you can launch a crowdfunding campaign. Okay. So what is a crowdfunding campaign? It is a campaign in which you put a goal. So let's say you want to raise $10,000 for your book publishing and you can follow the same process as ask a friend, but you can blast it out to your social media um, uh, and to your family. So you would create a, a campaign profile and a, a story behind why you're raising this money and then share it out with your friends. I've had uh, successful crowdfunding campaigns too, one in which I raised let's see what we raised 15,000 and other in which we raised 25,000. So crowdfunding campaigns actually work. Okay. All right. Number 11, number 11, you want to create a pre-sale campaign. Okay. Get your family and friends to pre-order your book. Okay. Get your family and friends to pre-order your book now, but you want to, you don't want to just, let's say your book is, let's say your book is, I don't know, 15, um, let's say your book is $15. You're going to say, your book for, let's say you're selling your book for $20, right? You don't want to just pre-sell it for $20. You want to put together like a special box or a special like pre-order VIP box or gift set that they get for doing the pre-order. Okay. And so I would do a pre-order campaign and I would um, add um, other items to it so that you can get a higher order value of about um, and sell it for about 97 to a hundred dollars. Okay. So your pre-sale campaign is going to be a hundred dollar, uh, item, 
or, or box that has your book that will have a t-shirt, maybe a mug or a pen or some or other moment, mo, uh, some other item, I would say, that uh, would make your whole presentation special for them. I would put that together. OK, and then now you can offer that to them and say, hey, here's my pre-ready campaign. Go ahead and get uh, the first the be the first to know. And another cool thing that you can do is if you've already written like the first chapter or if you have a rough draft and you're willing to share and get feedback, then you can put that in their pre-order campaign where they get the the rough copy first. I did that as well. I didn't do a pre-order campaign, but what I did was to get feedback. I created a Facebook group called Chanel's Book Review. I put about a hundred people in there um, so that they could read my book in advance to give me feedback. And I actually took their feedback and implemented it in the book. So that could be a way where you get feedback and you raise the money in advance for your book. All right. So we are on point number 12. Okay. So if you're just now joining us, we are talking about ways to finance your book writing and publishing project. So on uh, tw on on item number 12, point number 12, this one's going to sound like, OK, Chanel, duh, but you can sell more products and services that have low overhead. OK, any coaches or consultants on here? Whenever I need a cash flow infusion, uh, one of the things that I, I might do if I have the time and the space is offer a, um, a strategy session or some sort of coaching session, right? Or I might run a sale on an offer. So if you are already making money in your business, find something that has a low overhead. Or I might, um, we have tons of courses. I might offer one of my courses at like a crazy low price, uh, especially if I'm raising money for something so that I can generate cash flow to pay for something else. OK, think about what it is that you have to offer and if you have how many you need to sell um, to make a profit that can cover your expense. Once you set a goal like that, once you have the money, even if you get on an installment plan, I highly recommend installment plans um, because it definitely allows you to break that payment up and you can pay on it um, over the course of four months. Many of us don't get on installment plans. Uh, I like installment plans versus uh, financing, but we don't get on installment plans. We don't trust ourselves to be able to make the money. But if you are in business and you're an entrepreneur and you are making money, one way to make more money is to invest in things that are going to help you make more money. Um, also, if you guys offer any done for you services, offer that. Maybe you stopped doing um, pitches for people or whatever it is that you offer. If there's some done for you services that you can just spend a little bit more time, right? Spend some spend some midnight oil, burn some midnight oil and some done for you services and offer. So let's say you have a done for you service that you can offer for two thousand dollars. And let's say you want the big ten thousand dollar package. Just go ahead and offer five two thousand dollar packages and schedule them out. OK, so that you can fulfill them. And bam, now you got your money. Hey. And then the last point on how to fund your publishing uh, projects, pick up some gig work and get on an installment plan and work monthly to pay it off. What do I mean by gig work? I'm going to be honest, y'all. If you, if you got any kind of time, right. And I'm not talking about time. Like you saying you don't got no time because you want to be at home doing nothing. I'm talking about like, if you're really hungry for something and you really want to make something happen, you will find the time. Okay. I'm talking about DoorDash. Hello, somebody. Uber Eats. Hello, somebody. Instacart. Sign up for those. Lyft. Sign up for one of those services and take all the um, profit that you make and put it towards your publishing project. So I'm going to go through real quick 13 ways to fund your writing and book publishing projects. Number one, know the cost before you judge. Number two, realize that writing and publishing is an investment in you and your brand. Number three, compare investment fees and how much money you will make and determine if it makes sense for you to move forward with publishing. Number four, pull it from an investment fund or a 401k. Number five, take out a secured loan and pay yourself back over time. Number six, charge it on a credit card. Number seven, apply for financing. Number eight, get on an installment plan. Number nine, ask a friend or two. Number 10, launch a crowdfunding campaign. Number 11, create a pre-sale campaign. Number 12, sell more products and services that have low overhead. And number 13, pick up some gig work and get on an installment plan and work 
monthly to pay it off. All right, guys, uh, I got about four minutes to answer any questions. I pray that that was helpful. Did it at least spark your juices to figure out like I could do this? I could do this. I know sometimes when we feel like we don't have the money, it's not that we don't have the money. We don't know where to look for the money. And so I pray that uh, the 13 ways I just gave you at least increases your um, excitement about moving forward with publishing your book and publishing your manuscript. Now, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments. I am going to someone asked a question. They asked me, um, why should hold on? I found it. Why should you have a book as a speaker? You should absolutely have a book as a speaker because you are missing out on coins. Now, when you have a book, you can decide whether or not you want to speak for free, a lower cost, because you know that you're going to make book sales. Um, every time that I have spoken and that I have um, brought my books, I have sold out. People automatically, I, I think I have a whole I have a whole um, there's a marketing Monday in Kingdom Scribes uh, in our Facebook group that talks about this. When you have a book, the people are going to want to take a piece of you home and they're going to go buy your book. Like people would just buy your book when you speak just because you have a book. And then also you can negotiate in your speaker contracts. Um, so many book sales and for people to include the books in their their gift boxes and grab bags. So you're definitely missing out on coins if you do not have a book. All right. So, yes, this um this recording is going to be up on our YouTube page and inside our Kingdom Scribes uh, Facebook. Well, I do want to tell you guys, don't forget Brand Author Academy is open. I'm going to uh, uh, share the link with you guys. Listen, if you need help writing and publishing your book, I want you to consider joining us. We are starting a new cohort. It starts on March 13th. OK, starts on March 13th and registration ends on March 13th. 10th. Okay. So if you said you were going to join and you missed this last one and now you got your schedule together, uh, uh, you need to join us. Okay. And the investment is only nine ninety seven, but you can pay via afterpay and, or you can pay, look, you can pay, um, with, uh, with credit card, debit card. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Look, I'm trying to drop the link in, um, Facebook. I think that's it. Look, hopefully I said y'all to write. Oh, there we go. Brand Author Academy. That's it. So you can just go to brandauthoracademy.com and register. Like I said, registration is open um, until March 10th. But we still have a few spots available. If you go ahead and register and you're one of the first five to register, then you will have the opportunity to grab one of those uh, bonus coaching sessions, which we offer three coaching sessions for those of you who register. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Who said that? I'm trying to look and see who said join them. I love working for them. Look. Uh, hey, Joy. I see you. I can't tell. It doesn't tell me who's um, who's on what uh, sometimes in this in StreamYard. All right, guys. Well, looks like we don't have any questions. Thank you so much uh, for joining the Kingdom Scribes podcast. We will be back here next Friday. OK, next Friday with uh, another topic. And make sure you tune in and you guys have a wonderful and blessed Friday. Bye.